What? Did I really break out on my neck? I've been eating so healthy! Come on! What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Me too. Today, we're gonna talk about 8 things I do not like about dentistry. To be honest with you guys, I am not having the best day so far. So this would be a great topic to talk about. So let's get started. Number 1. No pay time off. If I'm not at the clinic seeing patients, I'm not making any money. In other words, every day I take off, I'm actually losing money. Same thing goes for sick days. If I'm feeling under the weather and I want to call off work, well, you better be ready because it's going to cost you. Number two, responsibility. Like I mentioned in my last video, it is very nice to be in charge, but that comes with a lot of responsibility. Sometimes it is hard to handle, at least for me. When I have multiple patients going at once and one thing, one thing doesn't go as planned, then everything gets pushed back and now we have all of these patients waiting on me. Number three, cannot work from home. Really felt this one during quarantine while my friends who work in the office were able to work from home with no problem. I was either laid off or going into the clinic with major personal protective equipment and yeah, not fun. Number four, neck and back problems. My posture has never been ideal. However, after going through dental school and working as a dentist, it's gotten worse. That's why I work out and stretch as often as I can to keep my neck and back healthy. That is also why dentists have disability insurance in case something happens to our hands, neck, and back. Let's hope I'll never need surgery. God, I don't even want to think about that. That is scary. I'm only 27. Number five, not a real doctor jokes. You mind if I take a look? I'm actually a doctor. Yeah, you said that several times last night, but really you're just a dentist. Yes, all dentists have gotten this one before. Yeah, we have a reservation under Dr. Price. Okay, let me look that up for you. Dr. Price? <clears throat> Stu, you're a dentist. Hey, don't try and get fancy. And honestly, I don't mind it. I mean, do I stand up when they ask for a doctor on flight? No, never. Number six, working Saturdays. Friday nights are not the same anymore now that I work every Saturday. Dentistry is not much different from retail in that aspect. We have to be available for people on days they don't work. I've seen offices that open on Sundays. Can you believe that? They're open on Sundays. That is literally what I call survival of the fittest. Respect. Respect! Very impressive. Number seven, dentistry is difficult. It's true. I think some people have this notion that dentists have the easiest job in the world and still make bank, but that is totally not true. Dentistry can be very fun and rewarding, but at the same time, very, very stressful. To achieve excellent work, we have to perform every step of every procedure impeccably. Oh my god, that sounds stressful. I mean, why do you think I'm losing my hair and I'm only 27? Number 8. Bad reviews. The reality is, a lot of people don't like going to the dentist, including myself. I hear the phrase, I don't like going to the dentist from my patients very often. I would say almost every day. Just imagine you are the dentist. You first walk in the room and that is the first thing you hear from your new patient. How would that make you feel? Dentists are just as highly dependent on reviews as restaurants are. A lot of patients care more about the customer service than the quality of the work they're getting. With the prevalent use of smartphones, one bad review can potentially lead to the loss of many, many patients. It's scary. Sometimes they have a good experience with the dentist, but they have a very, very negative experience with 
the front desk. So they end up leaving a bad review. It's very, very difficult to please every patient. That was it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I need to calm down because I'm getting really hot, getting way too triggered. I still love dentistry. I respect the profession, but I think it's important to mention every job has its pros and cons. If you're pre-dental, a dental student, or already working as a dentist, let me know what you think. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, I will see you next time.